Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.5 beta 1. Now we have been waiting for this beta to be released since two weeks now. It is finally here and it is actually better than we expected. I expected this update to be just a bunch of fixes and improvements and things like that, but it looks like there is much more to this update, which is kind of surprising. So in this video, we're going to talk all about this update, everything you need to know, all the new features and changes that will come to iOS 15.5. And first of all, let's get started right here with the size of the update. So if you install the first beta of iOS 15.5 to your device, it should come at around five gigs on every device. This of course will be different on different devices by a few megabytes, but it is a quite large update. Of course, you will get around five gigs on your device when installing iOS 15.5 beta one. Now currently is just on beta one for devs. It will probably be released for the public, actually for the public testers, like maybe today or tomorrow. And then of course we have here the build number. So the build number for this beta is 19 f 50 47e this is the build number which ends with an e which indicates that we will have quite a few updates actually quite a few betas for this update before it gets released to the public and now let's move on and talk about some of the new features and changes you will find on ios 15.5 First of all, if you go to the wallet app and you go to your cash card right here, you can see now you will have two new buttons, request and send. So of course to request and send cash. So from here, moving on to the iMessage app, you will see that there's also a redesign here for the Apple Pay button. Basically it is now cash, it is renamed to cash. We have like a new icon right here. Now, most of the features that will come to iOS 15.5 will most likely come with beta two and beta three. And there are a lot of new features that have been discovered on the code of iOS 15.5 again, Thanks to Steve Mosser on Twitter. Make sure you go ahead and follow him. I will leave his Twitter link right down below in the description of the video. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of those features that we can expect to see on iOS 15.5. Now lately on iOS, Apple has been adding some really, really useful features. And this one that should come out with iOS 15.5 is something that Apple is working on. Basically, they're working to rebrand iTunes Pass as Apple Card account in the wallet app with iOS 15.5. So if you buy basically an Apple gift card, you will have the credit right here. So you go to your app store, go to your profile right there, you have the credit here. Now what you will be able to do is that you can use this balance to actually buy products on the Apple store, as well as of course, apps, songs, movies, and anything else that you buy with the credit that you have on your Apple account. Apple account. So basically iTunes Pass will become a new card called Apple account and the card will be displayed in the wallet app just like you have the other cards right here. But now with the credit that you have on your basically on your iTunes card on your Apple ID, you will be able to use that to actually buy stuff and not just apps and things like that. There are also changes coming to Fitness Plus. Apple is working on the ability to change the speed of audio hints on Fitness Plus. That's also a new update, a new feature that probably will come with the next few betas of iOS 15.5. Again, with the first beta, we usually don't get the big features. We get the big features with the second beta or the third beta, but the code has revealed all these cool new features that are coming to iOS 15.5. And talking about cool new features, Apple is also adding a new app called Apple Classical. So that's basically a separate app from the music app, which will be used, of course, to play classical music. Now, Apple has actually purchased a classical music service. So that's a new separate app that Apple will design. Probably it will come with iOS 15.5. So code has been found on the current music app that is referring to that new app. So the Apple Classical Music app should come also with iOS 15.5. And the first time I opened the App Store after installing iOS 15.5 on my device, this is what I got right here. So basically a pop-up 
to let you know that you can enable notifications for your app store so it says be the first to get new app releases special offers and recommendations so you will probably see this if you install ios 15.5 and you don't actually have notifications for the app store enabled you most likely will see this pop-up i'm not 100 sure that this is new on ios 15.5 it might have been here earlier with ios 15.4 but this is the first time that i got actually this pop-up on my device and of course, with new releases, there are not just good things, there are bad things as well. And with iOS 15.5, the downside to this, if you decide to use this beta, maybe on your iPad, or if you use the new Mac OS beta, then you have to know that all devices have to be on the latest beta if you use universal control. So if you update one device, let's say you update your iPad to iPad OS 15.5 beta, then you won't be able to actually use universal control you will have to have all devices updated to the latest beta now let's move on and talk performance now this is actually really surprising ios 15.5 is announced on its first beta and it actually performs really good here we have the cpu benchmarks and it is actually better than ios 15.4.1 so here we have ios 15.4.1 so we have a single core score of 1593 which is the exact same that i got right here on ios 15.5 beta 1 even if it's even of course that is a beta one still performs really good but look at the multi-core score we have 4300 right here on the multi-core score with ios 15.5 beta 1 while we had here 4184 on ios 15.4.1 so that's a quite a good increase right there and it's still a beta one of course it will improve with the next betas as well now with the latest updates from apple one of the major topics has been battery life with ios 15.4 a lot of people got terrible battery life we got then ios 15.4.1 which actually fixed the problem for most people and here we have now ios 15.5 so if you're on ios 15.4 and you decide to move to the beta of course when the public beta is released then you will need to know that you actually have also the fix that, that we got with ios 15.4.1 so you don't have to worry about that and let's take a look at the battery life here for today which is of course the day that i've been using this device on ios 15.5 beta 1 so we can see right here we have two hours 53 minutes on screen six minutes off screen and right there it's about probably around 40 percent of battery life which is actually not that bad of course being a beta one and on a battery which health is 92 percent is actually quite good and of course again we have to remember that this is just beta one of ios 15.5 and of course the big question should you update or not to ios 15.5 beta once the public beta has been released now a lot of people like to try out the new features of course when a new beta comes out even though the new features that are coming to ios 15.5 most likely will be the biggest one here with ios 15.5 beta 2 or beta 3 i would say you can go ahead and take of course a try at this if you have maybe a second device but i would suggest most people to not actually try this out until we use it for a few days and see if it has any major problems or not again if you have a second device and you just want to try it out you can go for it it's not that big of a deal of course but it's actually quite stable in my opinion and the battery life seems to be okay for the amount of time that i have used this update on my device but again i suggest you wait for a few days before you use this update on your daily device and now let's move on and talk about future updates we have some really exciting news as well really exciting news from yesterday apple has finally announced wwdc 2022 and it's starting on june 6th and that's the day that we will see ios 16 of course we will get a preview of ios 16 by apple and then of course a few minutes after the event is over we will get the first beta of ios 16 released to the devs probably three or four weeks later we also will get the public beta of ios 16 which is really really exciting hopefully we will see a lot of new features and changes to this update which we have been waiting 
quite anxiously to see if Apple will actually make some major changes and not just have some additional features like we got on iOS 15. So what to expect next from Apple until the release of the first beta of iOS 16? Well, we will get, of course, new betas for iOS 15.5, and I would expect Apple to actually release a new beta for iOS 15.5 on April 12th here next week, or maybe they will go on a two-week cycle for the first two betas, so maybe it will be of April 19th here, and then after the second beta, they will, as usual, go on the one-week cycle, and you can expect, like, four maybe five betas of ios 15.5 until it goes out to the public and in meanwhile i would expect apple to also release a new version of ios 15.4 15.4.2 actually will most likely be also released this month so that's basically it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is quite a good update even though we didn't expect ios 15.5 to have any big changes or features it actually has quite a few new features which are really exciting thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next video